All right, guys, welcome to another video. Now, today we are jumping on GTA 5 for a look at the new executives and other criminals update. Now, you may notice face cam is back thanks to the awesome guys at El Gato. They released some new software, so I'm hoping things should be should be sorted out with that. Um, so yeah, so just we're starting off just in my apartment if you guys haven't seen it already So just looking down literally I've been sitting here just setting things up just set, setting up all the um Recording and that and literally it's just been on like, Just people shooting each other bodyguards and all that. Yeah, so I've just got the apartment I've got this was the most expensive apartment, but sadly it's not anymore. Just the views You can just see Police car sitting in the middle there's just cars dri driving all over the place. Yeah, things are getting getting mental. Yeah, you can see. So, you, so if you see killed a VIP, so that's sort of the leader. So, so we straight away. If we turn turn that down, it's a bit bit loud for me. Yeah. So, so if you look, so so you hold down. Um, for me, it's select the uh, the little button that's got the two squares on Xbox One, and you've got. Oh, hello. And you've got uh, secure ser s secure server. So secure server. Um, so volunteer to join an organisation or start your own. So so I'm just gonna. So you are not wealthy enough to register. Right. So straight away. So the so I haven't had any um like idea about certain things and that. All I know is that the organisations and that. So you must have one million dollars um, in your bank account to so for you to start uh, and register as a VIP. So we're gonna we're gonna look for work. So let VIPs know that you, that you're available. So we're we're, um, we're gonna look for work, and we're uh, we're set on with that. Ignore the uh, the invite from my mate. Um, yeah, because we we I've just been going mad about this update. It's quite sick. Um. Yeah, so as you, you can just see the stuff going uh, mad there in the feed. So basically, so so this update, so it adds the op. Oh, what's this? Secure serve. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I think with, when the Benny's um, update came out, they added sort of added that to the smartphones. Have the app there, um, and then uh, then obviously we got uh, we've got the new secure serve uh, there as well for the organisations. Um, so basically, uh, what this um, update's about is they've added, uh, I believe, five new cars. So, th so these cars um, include. So we should be able to, if we have a look on here. Um, anyway, uh, ignore all of that. Yeah. So, so if we go on, oh, I'll, I want to see if anything was added in Benny's because they generally, I don't know, the Rockstar can be a bit cheeky and add stuff. Yeah. So. So nothing was added there, so ignore ignore the Benny's thing. Yeah, so so light as travel. So here, so we have the Super Velito, the new uh, helicopter that was added as part of the Executives and Number of Criminals update, and you'll see that the picture that you can um, what that shows where the he what the helicopter is and what it's landed on. It's actually on one of the yachts, and now I'll get into more um, get into more about yachts later on in the video. So yeah, so it's two million one hundred and thirteen thousand for the basic version, and then the carbon version is a suit is called the Super Levi Super Velito Carbon, which is an extra. How much is that? Like uh, one million, one hundred. <laughs> putting me on the spot here. One hundred and eighty-seven. Is that right? Million hundred eighty-seven, yeah, something like that. Anyway, so I don't actually know what the point of it is. So originally designed for Alpine rescue and humanitarian relief, the Super Velito has since found its true calling as this year's most ha must-have trinket for the hot for the high-tech executive with a fetish for military hardware. There's no more convenient way to hop between meetings during a busy rush hour, particularly since we've gutted all the functional components and installed web access, a champagne cooler, and enough room for two corporate shields in the back, carbon fiber edition. So I believe this is the one that's lighter and it's probably more heavily armored. So nothing. So that, that was all that was added to the aircraft. And then, oh, this is the bit which I am excited about. Whoa. 
Oh my god, well done. They've added six, nine new cars. Yes, because I, as you can see, I've been saving up money. Um, I would say I've got about 300k now because I thought that something would be added. Now what, I'm not sure actually sure what I can afford. So, there, so let's have a look through the cars. So we've got the, uh, the M M Ponte Nightshade, which looks beautiful. So, so that looks like a Corvette. So I'm not actually sure what this is based off. I'm generally quite good with um, what the cars are based off of. Um, oh, I'm not really sure. To be honest. Can you guys just let me know in the comments because it will annoy me otherwise. If you've got any idea um, what what car this is, um, just let me know. So yeah, so so quite quite fast on 0 to 65 seconds, which is okay, and it's obviously it's a classic as well as you can tell, um, and it's 585,000. Then we've got the Bravado, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, Verlia, uh, <laughs> which which is five seconds out and it looks to be, uh, is it based off of, I think it's based off of a TVR, if you guys know TVRs. We, I think they're more present in, um, um, in this country than they are everywhere else. Um, Tight handling and the forward momentum of a hungry leopard. The only thing getting in your way here is your lack of coordination and the feel of becoming a road accident statistic. So, so we've got so it's a three litre V8, 240 brake horsepower, top speed up 160 miles per hour, and not 60 or five seconds. So I think this is more. This is your car for looks as well. So yeah, just got the uh, the colours there. Then we've got the De Classe Mamba, uh, which. I think is the probably one of the best looking out of the lot. Four point yeah, this is the fast one. Four point one naught to sixty power five hundred seven litre V eight. So this is obviously I reckon this is maybe eighties ninety something like that. So uh, yeah, um very 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 fast it looks like four point one naught to sixty. So obviously you could upgrade it and I'll be I think you'll be looking at a closer time to three point six. 0 to 60, which means it would very be very fast. Now we've got got onto the uh, the Bentleys, I believe. So this is the the uh, so this is the Enus uh, Cognoscenti 55, which, uh, which is obviously a Bentley, um, which is sort of your. It looks like to be a four seater um, Bentley Continental GT. Look, oh, hello, armored. All right, wow, okay. Wow. Okay, I didn't actually know that was a thing. Right. So, so we're doing we're having five point one at the moment, and then so armored we get a right. So they just add loads of weight on, and the and the top speed goes down to one hundred fifty five from a hundred and seventy nine. Yeah, and it goes to seven seven point three. Yeah. So does the writing change? No. Some does the no. So nothing else changed. Right. So it believes that we we've got armor everywhere um so around the window so obviously the the wheels have been improved so if you can see if we go regular and then armored so i think it i don't know it may come with and may not may come with bulletproof tires um standard then you've obviously got the seats and then the stuff around the windows as well and obviously the plating in the doors which is something which is very very important and now we get on to the the uh, Ignis oh, Con, uh, Cognoscenti, uh, which this is just the not the 55 model. Um, this is sort of your your classic one, and obviously that was the updated one. And oh my god, <laughs> that looks beautiful. Right, so is it any faster? No. So wow, that is atrocious. That 0 to 60, 8.5 0 to 60, which looks atrocious. But geez, these things. I'll be very interested to see if these blow up very quick or not. It'd be very, very interesting. And then the the baller limited edition. The this is the third edition of the baller. So if you've seen the first edition of the baller was sort of like your older type Range Rover, which is um very square at the front and square at the back. Um, and then they brought the second generation, which l looks more like this, which is obviously based off of the. Uh, the Evoke, and I believe this this one will be based off of the Range Rover, just the the top of the range Range Rover, and this can be armored as well. Thank God for more armored cars, right? So what are we looking at? So regular seven second, which isn't too bad. Five, so we've got five liter V8 and 530 brake horsepower, top speed of 160 miles per hour. 
So yeah, so that that looks quite good as well. And then obviously we've got the uh, the long wheelbase version, um, which can be oh my god, they all can be armored. It's ridiculous. So this is obviously this is like um, the Sand King. So obviously they do the the short wheelbase and then the extra large, which is your long wheelbase one. So this one may be able to climb over cars and it's going to be a bit longer. But obviously the thing of that is it all is saying. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's saying that it's going to be the same speed. Even though, I don't know. It may it may just be the same speed, which is uh, all fine and dandy. Now we've got the benefactor shaft, the V12. <laughs> what the actual hell? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm buying that. Oh my god. What are we looking at for armored? Oh, this is gonna look very tasty. Yeah, because I'll show you guys in a second. I've actually got, or oh, if I can get my car over, I've got the Shafter um, already, the coupe version. Oh, is it the coupe? I believe it's the coupe, um, and I love it. I love it already. So this, yeah, this is definitely going to be added to my garage, I believe. So what's the? So 4.2, which is very fast. A six liter V12, 7.1, and when it's armored, which is very very nice indeed. And then we get onto the final one, with the Benefactor long wheelbase. This is sort of like your. If you guys in um, sort of like in length of the car, uh, A8 um, type, so obviously they did the long wheelbase there. And I believe the um, the 7 Series BMW as well, I'm not sure what it would be. I'm not sure about um, Merc, really. Yeah, but um, yeah, so the regular, so, oh, so it's the same speed. Yeah, just looks very, very cool indeed. Yeah, so those are, those are the, um, the new cars that were added. Let's get into Warstock Cash and uh, is it Cash and Carry? Yeah, Cash and Car. Oh, I I swear every time I do a video that thing comes up. Right, so turreted limo. This is what <laughs> flipping hell. <laughs> bored. Right, bored during rush hour. Need to make an impression when a dictator is in town. Sick of having a, a ch to choose between the comfort and status of a limousine and the sheer utility of an armoured personnel carrier. German engineering once again provides the kind of efficient, goal-orientated solution the modern businessman's need needs by sticking a minigun on the top of a stretch limo is obviously it's obvious once you see it. Oh my god. A minigun. What what have they actually got miniguns on at the moment? Uh, they got it right. So they got it on the Valkyrie, I believe that's it. Because the the thing with the um, they sort of your uh, was it fifty cal or something or um, it's more of a cannon that's on the uh, the uh, personnel carrier. What's it called? Uh, oh God, have I forgotten? Um, is that I don't know. You'd have to be very accurate with it. But this looks beautiful and it's going to be insanely fast. Flipping hell. With the insurgent, that's it. Because I've got this um, as well. How many seats is it, by the way? Just um, oh, that's the wrong one. I'm good. Uh, let's just have a look. Uh, so we can get five, five in, which is very, very decent indeed. Let's see if we've got any new boats added. No boots, no boots. Don't know. Right, okay. Uh, no boats added there, and nothing added there. Yeah, so I believe that's everything. Oh, I did this yesterday. Excuse me, let me just go into my personal banking section. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, deposit. And, uh... Yeah, so uh, how, I'm not actually sure. How do you buy? Um, is it? Let me have a look. Let's sort by the price. Yeah, I'm. Oh, hello. Wait, 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 wait. I saw that. I saw that. There, oh my god, here we go. It, <laughs> so yeah, this is the super yacht which has been added, which is sort of your creme de la creme. I, I believe they said that this is the most expensive sort of items that have been added in uh, GTA history since the launch of the game. It was back in 2013 when it was on 360. Um, I might have been earlier than that, actually. Um, oh my god, this thing... Right, so yeah, so so I'll just take you through um, a couple of things it adds. So we, so start up. So we've got the helipad at the front. Um, I'm clapping as usual. It wouldn't be a vid without. So we've got the helipad in the middle uh, at the front, which is for the Super Velito. We also have um, sort of your bottom level. Um, you guys probably know the te technical terms for boats and that. And then we're getting up to the uh, the main bit, which is obviously where you'd control the boat. Super Velito um, sitting there, I believe that's the carbon one. 
And the weird thing about this, right, is this is sort of obviously is huge and it costs six million. Um, oh wait, is there is there is there these pictures or yeah? It's so obviously a hot tub and all that jazz there. Just take you through quickly, and then we've got the bedroom, the wine bar, and then we're back to the top. So yeah, so what they've done um, with, with bringing this out is you see, you've obviously got your criminal organisation, which is uh, set around, and um, and the criminal organisation will sort of can be run within uh, the the super yacht, and the super yacht can be upgraded to around ten million, where it's six million at the moment. So. So obviously, how to run the criminal organisation to buy one, you need one million in your bank account, then six million to buy the super yacht at least. Uh, the super yacht can be upgraded to have an anti-aircraft missile system. So basically, if any of your enemies trying to kill you and your bodyguards are all dead, you've obviously got that last resort of shooting things out of the sky, like you're some kind of G. So I'm not going to make any references about anywhere, it was sitting there for me, but I'm not because I'm a kind person. So create your own super yacht. So let's just, um, let's just have a look through, because um, I haven't actually looked at that. Right, so, so it comes with so a, a 210 foot yacht with timeless exterior styling, three beautifully appointed guest rooms with en suites, expansive sun decking for entertaining, and it comes with a helipad, a Shih Tzu Tropic and a Speedophile Sea Shark. So we see your, your boat and that, and then we, what actually changes is the, right, so it just looks more streamlined than that. So, so with it, so you get, so this one is just basically the 7mm, um, I don't know what clicking on that does, I don't actually know the difference, uh, I think, I think it's, it's just mainly just the outside, I don't think, oh, hello. I don't think um, any of it would change really, um, and obviously with this one you get the twin helipads, the hot tub, Buckingham Swift, which is obviously a helicopter, uh, Peg Pegasi Speedo, which I believe is some type of boat, uh, the Nagasaki dinghy, as we know the dinghy is very fast, and a pair of Speed 5 Sea Sharks, and onto the Creme de la Creme, the Aquarius. Now this is a beautiful looking yacht, which is 8 million t twin helipads, hot tub, Buckingham Super Velito Carbon, which is very, very good deal. So this is the expensive helicopter, which is over 3,300,000, which is a very, very good deal. Nakasaki dinghy, for, if you wanted to get people across, um, this came in from Heist. If you wanted to get people across certain areas in very, very cool style. And the Lapidati Toro, which I believe is the super expensive boat that was added. Which is very, very fast. Which Lamborghini did, in fact, I think it was Lapidati. I think, yeah, I think Lamborghini made a boat, I'm not sure. And four speedophile sea sharks. So, yeah, so can we... Uh... There we go. So fitting, so you can choose your fitting as well. Gold fitting and chrome fitting. Jesus, oh, that's probably actual gold. That is a lot. 750,000. It literally changes everything. Okay, you literally just go through and then, oh my god. <laughs> wow, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. I think for me, it. It would have to be the blue. I think for me. I was making them. And then choose your colour scheme. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, I think that... Uh, what would I do? I think either that or that for me. They even change. Battleship or Command. I know I really like that. Or you can just go pristine. Anyway, those will look very cool. And then you can go... And then you can personalise. Enter your name. I am. <laughs> I'm cool because I'm a G. Um, registering. I'm cool. And then obviously you can choose your flag, which is off the side. And or what are we gonna go for? I like quite like Belgium's flag. I don't know really. Oh now nah, we just sit with the guns. Oh yeah, going with the best one there. And then so yes, yeah, so then you buy. For 8,840,000, so we have the baseline model 
£525,000 lighting. We're going with the chrome fittings. They look quite decent. £315,000 on what it's going to look like. And then you'd obviously buy it now. But as you know, we have insufficient funds. So, yeah. So, guys, that is a brief look. Oh, it's not really brief. It's 20 minutes. But an in-depth look at the new update. Everything that it add, adds. All the minor details. Uh, yeah, so I will uh, I'll just leave this. I'll leave, leave the video in my garage. As I will soon be adding to it. And obviously, I'm hoping to get the P1 soon. Because who doesn't love the T20? Um, so yeah, I've got, oh, what have I got missing? Oh, I've got my, um, bifter of an eye. So yeah, so, um, it's been great as always, guys. <laughs> what can we... I'm that guy, Plasmic, and I'll see you in a mo. Peace!